Well, 20 years ago in this event, over a 1,054 pound blue mono was caught. It's the record for this tournament. It's the 20 year anniversary of that. It's 26th year of the Mississippi Gulf Coast Billfish Classic. This week we have over 70 teams at a $1.3 million pot that all of these teams are fighting for this week for various species and for really honestly dominating this event in Biloxi. This game pot. And again, these guys did all their preparation, getting ready for this day. We've already seen them. Uh, fish in a couple of Gulf Coast events, and now it's time to kind of set that tone and build towards the final and the championship in Puerto Rico. Again, the playing field is the Gulf of Mexico. We've taken off from there before, and they're going to be working their way in various areas. This is Jason on the Rise of Suns. We were sitting waiting for a bite. We haven't seen one just yet, and then just got hit. I was able to catch it and release it. And it was an awesome fight. It jumped, and it was beautiful. I'm just trying to change the meaning of fishing like a girl, one fish at a time. We're trying to crown our first ever sport fishing champion. A lot of money is on the line, that $1 million prize for our SFC champion. But also think about this event. Millions of dollars are on the line from this individual event. I mean, that winner could take home a ton of cash. Jump, jump. jump. There she is. And with that, they have a lot of fuel on board when they took off yesterday. And we're hearing not one, not 200, but even more than 200 miles out. Skies are clearing up a little bit, and uh, just caught a nice tuna. Um, hopefully, it'll make the leaderboard, and we're going to hang out here and hopefully we can get that right blue marlin bite later this morning. Nice 
job, guys. Walk over there, Rich. Nice job. You guys, leave your cameras on, please. So we had a pretty slow start to our trip, but it quickly picked up on day two. We got to release the blue and we came to rig on day three. Luckily, we hooked up early in the morning. We had about a four hour fight, came up tail wrap and too short, so we had to let it go. this third and final day with a lot of fish being caught peter i mean the mississippi gulf coast are very similar to the louisiana gulf coast and the florida gulf coast they know how to catch them here in the gulf of mexico these are rich and fertile waters and they caught a bunch of fish can you see the progression really day two was the one right because they ran out on day one they're gonna have to run back on day three but they really made hay on day two they had that storm pop up on day two which seemed to uh maybe mess with the barometric pressure a little bit and i think that might have raised the fish Thank you. 